Hi guys, stage one is dry now on here, so I'm starting to block in the second layer of colour. Just mix some blues. And uh, again, I'm just going to get this down fast. I just want a second layer of paint. Just to brighten this up, make the colour more vivid. Just going to make it gradient from light to dark again, like I did before. So at this time, the colours will be a lot more vibrant. And as, as I did on level one, once I've got the colour down, I'll just blend it with a clean, dry, soft brush. So I've covered it with gradiating tone, second layer, colour looks more vibrant now. So I'm just going to clean my brush and then I'm going to get a soft dry brush and blend those gradients together. On the final layer, the next stage, I'll be adding sort of highlights where sun is reflecting off um, ripples in the water. Some very pale blue reflections, almost white. So then another big soft brush, number 10. All I'm going to do is circular motions just to smooth out brush marks and blend between the gradients.
see it's darker so I'm much happier with that now look how vibrant that water has become since the first layer now the paint's thicker it's also translucent I've, I've mixed the um, <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I've mixed the liquid in pasto which if you see it there it's like a sort of pinky brown translucent medium makes the paint creamy and gives it translucency so what we're seeing is some of that base colour coming through as well but it it just thickens up as well the colours become so much richer on the second layer more pleasing don't look patchier all right I think that's enough of that deeper tone so just gonna clean my brush hi guys so now I've finished putting the second layer of paint on the water area I'm gonna start adding second layer of paint on this greenish blue coral So I've uh, applied the second coat on here, blocked a little bit of detail in on that distant coral. We start working on this foreground coral now. And then when that's done, I'll let it dry. All the background will add its second coat. And when it's dry, I'll do the second coat on the uh, shark so I can rest my hand on the other areas and not worry about smudging wet paint getting my hand caught on wet paint so that's the process i'm working with so we'll, i'm going to start working on this now guys
morning guys Wednesday morning April 6th I think today um, getting back to the second stage of this remember we done the second layer on the water we did a second blocking in of detail on the um, coral and then I've started blocking in the second layer on the shark now now that the surrounding areas are dry I can lean on there and paint so we're going to work on the shark getting the second layer of paint on it I've been doing the black edges doing that and a bit of the purple just working on the blue bluish tones now Right guys, so I've put the second layer all over the shark. Oops. I've put the second layer all over the shark now. It's looking more vibrant. So everything's at a second layer. What I did do though was I I've coloured in his eye, I've got painted white over where his eye was. I didn't like the look of it, so I'm gonna let that dry then I'll uh, redo the eye. I'll do that at the third final stage when I add all the fine detail and add the fishes and so I think that's it for now for uh, this stage stage two stage two minus an eye it's the blind blue shark Anyway, let me zoom in for you, so you get a better look. That's how he's looking. A 
a lot of tidy up work to do. This is just the second layer, so it's still going to look kind of messy, but it looks better than the first pass. And then the final pass. That'll be all the very fine detail work, tidying everything up to get sharp definition. And some shadowing here and there. Low lights, highlights. But that's, I'm going to call it a day now on stage two for the shark, blue shark. And um, I'm going to get back to the Spitfire. Final stage on that try and get that wrapped up. Alright guys, thanks for watching, see you soon.